In this lesson, we will discuss the aerodynamic devices that are used to reduce lift and or to slow the aircraft down. A spoiler is a device intended to reduce lift in an aircraft. Spoilers are flat panels on the top surface of a wing, which can be extended upward into the airflow and spoil it. By doing so, the spoiler creates a carefully controlled stall over the portion of the wing behind it, greatly reducing the lift of that wing section. Air brakes are designed to increase drag, while making little or no change to lift, while spoilers greatly reduce lift, while making only a moderate increase in drag. However, most aircraft only have spoilers. They form part of a speed brake system which can be used to slow the aircraft down in flight and on the ground. When operated, they reduce the lift on the wing. Thus, in order to maintain altitude, the aircraft has to be pitched up, increasing drag and reducing airspeed. We will have a look here at a typical aircraft speed brake system using spoiler panels on the upper surface of the wings. There are a number of panels on each wing. The Boeing 737, for instance, has six on each wing. The panels are hinged at their forward edge and are extended into the airflow by individual hydraulic actuators. They are split into two groups. One group is known as the ground spoilers and the other, the flight spoilers. The ground spoilers operate exactly as suggested by their name. They only operate when the aircraft is on the ground. They are inhibited in flight, normally because they produce undesirable aerodynamic effects. They always operate symmetrically. The flight spoilers are slightly more complicated. They operate both in flight and on the ground. They are used both as symmetrical spoilers for slowing down or descending the aircraft, and they are also used asymmetrically for roll assistance. This function is fully explained in the primary flight controls lesson. The pilot controls the spoilers by a speed brake lever adjacent to the thrust levers. Speed brake lever inputs produce symmetrical spoiler operations. Operating the lever on the ground will extend all the spoilers. In flight, only the flight spoilers will be deployed. The speed brake lever typically has a number of detents marked on it. With the lever in the down detent, all flight and ground spoilers are retracted. The flight spoilers are, however, available for roll assist. This applies both on the ground and in flight. To move the lever from down to the arm position, it has to be raised up out of a gate. The arm position is selected on approach. With the lever in this position, the automatic speed brake system is armed. When the aircraft touches down and certain parameters are met, the lever will move automatically to the up position and all panels, both flight and ground spoilers, will fully extend. We will discuss this system fully later in the lesson. In flight, the speed brake lever is not able to move beyond the flight detent. The detent limits the flight spoilers to approximately two-thirds of their maximum leaving some movement available for roll assistance. The up position is only used on the ground. With the lever in this position, all spoiler panels, both ground and flight, are fully extended. Shown here is a typical spoiler control setup. To provide redundancy, two of the flight spoilers on each wing are powered by one hydraulic system with the other two being supplied by a different system. 
there are hydraulic shutoff valves in the lines to the flight spoilers, controlled by flight deck operated shutoff switches. There is a ground spoiler shutoff valve which is open when the aircraft weight is on the wheels and closed when it is not, thus ensuring that the ground spoilers operate only on the ground. There is also a ground spoiler control valve which is under the control of the spoiler mixer. This valve will open and close to control the position of the ground spoilers in response to speed brake lever movement, only of course on the ground. The closed in flight ground spoiler shutoff valve preventing their operation whilst airborne. The spoiler mixer receives inputs from the speed brake lever and the yoke in roll. It sums these inputs before signalling the flight spoilers to move the required amount. If in flight the speed brake lever is operated with no roll input, then the flight spoilers will raise symmetrically in proportion to the amount of lever movement. If a roll input is made with the speed brake lever in the down detent, then the flight spoilers on the downgoing wing will raise in proportion to the roll input. Those on the upgoing wing will remain retracted. Finally, if a roll input is made with the speed brake lever out of the down detent, then the flight spoilers on the downgoing wing will raise further, while those on the upgoing wing will retract by a similar amount. Most spoiler systems have a blow back facility, whereby if the spoiler panels are raised at high speed, the air load will overcome the hydraulic jacks and push the panels down. This is progressive with increasing airspeed until eventually the panels are blown down to the fully retracted position. This applies when the panels are being operated by the speed brake lever or by the roll assist mechanism, the latter reducing the sensitivity of the aircraft in roll with increasing speed. During the landing run, the decelerating force is produced by aerodynamic drag and the drag of the wheel brakes. The wheel brake drag depends on the weight on the wheels. This is reduced by any lift that the wing is producing. The wing lift can be reduced by operating the spoilers. Both the brake drag and the aerodynamic drag will be increased and the landing run reduced. As we have already said, on many aircraft types, additional spoilers are provided for use on the ground. The ground spoilers are made inoperative in flight by a switch on the undercarriage leg, which is operated by the extension of the leg after takeoff. If the speed brake lever is moved to the up position on the ground, then all spoiler panels, both flight and ground, will extend fully giving the required wing lift dump and drag increase. Many aircraft have an electrical actuator connected to the speed brake lever, which, when certain parameters are met, will automatically drive the lever to the up position and deploy the spoilers. Prior to landing, the pilot must place the speed brake lever in the arm detent. This arms the automatic ground speed brake system. Once the lever is armed and an on-ground signal is received, the actuator will drive the lever to the up position. In order to prevent spurious operation, two or more different on-ground signals are usually required to operate the actuator. Different aircraft types use various different parameters. They will usually include two or more of the following. The radio altimeter reading less than 10 feet. The wheel brake anti-skid system sensing wheel spin up. The air ground sensing system giving an on-ground signal. And the thrust levers being fully closed. If the speed brake lever is in the down detent, which is where it would be for takeoff, and the engine thrust reverses are operated, then a mechanical linkage will raise the speed brake lever to the arm position. 
provided the aircraft is on the ground, the electrical actuator will drive the lever to up and all spoiler panels will deploy. This gives automatic ground speed brake operation in the case of a rejected takeoff or RTO. The system will have a go around capability, whereby if after touchdown and spoiler deployment, the pilot decides that for some reason his safest course of action is to get airborne again, then if the thrust levers are opened, the speed brake lever will be driven to the down position and the spoiler panels will retract. The electrical actuator can be overridden at any time by the pilot operating the speed brake lever. A small number of commercial aircraft have fuselage mounted air brakes fitted. This type of air brake produces an increase in drag with little or no loss of lift or change in pitching moment. An example is seen here on the rear fuselage of the British Aerospace 146. That is the end of the lesson. You should now understand the difference between spoilers and air brakes. Remember that ground spoilers operate only on the ground, while flight spoilers operate both in flight and on the ground. Bear in mind that when the speed brake lever is operated, the spoilers respond symmetrically. But when used for roll assist, they operate asymmetrically the spoiler on the downgoing wing extending and the one on the upgoing wing retracting.